Cleopas and his buddy probably traveled with Jesus for several months. They were not part of the inner circle of Jesus' closest followers, but were among the larger cohort that stayed close by. They were inspired by Jesus' words and amazed by his healing miracles. They had high hopes for the kingdom that Jesus announced and were sure that Jesus would become a great leader for the people of Israel. When Passover arrived, Cleopas and his friend followed Jesus to Jerusalem. Suddenly, things went terribly wrong. Jesus was arrested without warning or explanation and quickly handed over to the Roman officials who executed him without so much as a trial. Cleopas and his friend were devastated. All their hopes vanished in an instant. With heavy hearts, they packed their bags and started heading for home. Before they left Jerusalem, they stopped to see the apostles, who told them that Jesus' body was missing and that some women in their group had seen an angel. Cleopas and his friend did not know what to make of that report, but it was getting late, so they said goodbye and left. Meanwhile, Jesus had risen from the dead. One of the first things he did was to go looking for Cleopas and his buddy. Jesus was worried about them. He hated to see the two friends so downhearted. And Jesus needed their help. The apostles were not going to be able to announce the kingdom all on their own. Jesus caught up with Cleopas and his friend several miles outside of the city. He talked with them for a long time, but they did not recognize him. Now that Jesus was risen from the dead, eyes of faith were required. It was not until Jesus rekindled their hopes and sat down to dinner with them that they recognized who he was. The encounter with Jesus on the road to Emmaus is the only story we have about Cleopas. He and his friend, whose name we do not even know, were not key players in the early church. They never became famous. But Jesus had a job for them to do and went to great lengths to make sure that they were on board. Most of us are not famous either. Sometimes we get discouraged and cannot see Jesus right here with us. But Jesus does not give up on us either. He has plans for us too.